and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Madden market, going over a few things. So we do have quite a few things coming out probably this week. So it's about that time, guys. It's about time to make some switches, change some things up, and really go all in as far as getting your coin stack up last minute right now. Because Series 4 will be releasing on Friday. And this promo, which we do not have an exact date on yet, I suspect has to be releasing this week. Last year, the Zero Chill promo started on December 6th. It is now December 9th. And because it has not dropped, it's already going to be December 10th by tomorrow. So at the earliest, it's going to be December 10th. Now, I have no... I could almost bet my life it won't be tomorrow but it's usually on a thursday or friday so if series four is dropping on friday it could be thursday but they have not told us anything yet which is really like it's just like sketch like they would have told us by now it's kind of weird so i don't really know what it's gonna drop but i want to get all my little coin tips everything i can get to you guys before this starts because once you're into a promo it's it's full head, it's full steam ahead there's no there's no fixing your coin stack there's not much you can really do once you're into it i don't know if, you, if, you, if you're already long coins selling things back you're gonna lose quite a few coins doing so so Let's get into what we can handle beforehand. Now, guys, as you guys know, this is the 25 days of food miss. To enter the giveaways, I've already announced the giveaway winner, I believe, on my content video for the flashbacks. Make sure you go check that video out if you believe you might have won. Now, as far as the uh, 25 days of food miss, all you gotta do is go down below, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your console and the secret word that you hit throughout the video, and like the video. Once you do those three things, you are entered to win the giveaway. So make sure you guys get that done so you do not miss any days of entry so you guys have your best chance to win. Now, let's head over to the auction block. Get onto the market, see what we're looking like. Because Mondays are typically a slower day. Weekend league rewards used to skew the market a little bit, which will be, I think, tomorrow, but it doesn't seem to happen anymore. Let's get into the market 86 to 87s, 34k. These really don't move anymore. Like I was telling you guys, these are going to be stagnant. The only times these cards will move is when a new, like a Julio or let's say Hopkins, Cl I mean, that's not Hopkins, Clowney, Kelsey, Smith, Thomas, if any of them get like new cards. They might go up a little bit just because their power prices and everything because people want to power them up. About it. Those cards won't move too much anymore. They're only going down from here. No, 88s, 89s. These cards, it is flashback day. So let's see what the flashback cards are looking like price wise. 88 overall, 53k. I remember when I used to buy this for like 130 for training. Those were the days, guys. Things have really taken a turn. They've really taken a turn. I don't want to say for the worst because cheaper is always good. But when you start off from day one, cheaper only can hurt you. But coming into the game right about now, probably overwhelmed. Her things are like very, very cheap for you guys. Let's get to the 90s. I have a lot of things to discuss here. So, Football Outsiders were yesterday. Now, like I said to you guys, as far as Football Outsiders go, they did drop a new Will Lutz. So, if you did by any chance want to pick up a new kicker, Joey Sly is going to be a little bit on the cheaper side, like you guys can see here, because they did release a new Will Lutz. So going to 90 kick power kicker, Joey Sly is definitely a good option. I do I do have Tucker, which is the same kick power as Joey Sly. But let's see what Tucker is going for. I know you guys definitely want to pick up your kickers at some point because you're going to definitely need them. Justin Tucker is 119. Came down in price just a little bit. But Will Lutz, is Will Lutz worth it with that 94 kick power? He's definitely worth it. But if you guys don't want to spend all that money, you can get these for quite a bit cheaper. Let's see what the Will Lutz is going for right about now. He's going for about 230. Yeah, he has a crazy kick power. Could probably nail in like some 60 yarders. And with wind, maybe even like a 64. So definitely worth the price. If you do want, if you do play very competitively, you always want to have that ability to kick from anywhere on the field. Am I gonna buy that? If I had more coins, probably. But I do not. Now I'm just getting that out there real quick because I know you guys probably I were wondering that. I know at least a few of you guys, right? A few of you guys care about kicking. I, I care a little bit, just a little, just a little bit. Maybe punting not so much. Now I'm gonna go to the legends. Guys, if you ever want to get some base legends to power them up, or even just to power up your cards, powering up is probably at an all-time low right now, considering how cheap the base legend cards are. Now, these are going to take an even bigger hit, guys. NFL 100 is going to keep coming out. Now, the only thing that has stopped these guys from coming down more is more than likely the NFL 100 packs. You're not pulling straight legend fantasy packs, right? You're, you're probably going to take the NFL 100 player more likely than not. Now, there's been no new legend drops either. It's been just the NFL 100 legends, so that kind of has stopped this market just a little bit. But I think we're going into week four pretty soon, so that will be changing in the near future. By the way, make sure you get your team of the week solo done. Just throw that out there real quick for all you uh, stragglers that haven't played it yet. I'm one of those stragglers, so I gotta, go play, I gotta go play mine before I miss out on my team of the year token. But the legend market's pretty stagnant right now. But remember, as we get into the new promo and the new series four, things are going to change quite dramatically. Let's head over to the 92, 93s and see what we're working with right here. We got Clinton Porter's 499. Now, I did tell you guys that a lot of these cards here 
they're gonna crash down pretty bad even worse than they are now one of the reasons that the only reason that they're up right now is for the most part like i was saying for the most part if you guys really think about it when this promo does drop the legend price is going to take a big hit there's going to be discounted christmas promos this kind of Christmas promo bundles probably for legend packs around Christmas. This is just going to be one of the many things that kill the market. All the zero chill players, all the out of position players, all the ghost players, all the ghost forever players, all the things that are going to come out, all the presents, probably going to kill the legend market to begin with. Not to mention there'll be discounted kind of legend bundles around Christmas or on the day of Christmas. Plus some blitz guys. Christmas is going to obliterate most of everything that is not a Christmas player. And if they introduce a currency guys, like a, a main currency, like snowflakes or snowballs or something, the legend players and all these other cards are going to just go down because the only reason they're staying up right now is because training. If the Christmas promo is less about training and more about currency, they're going to come down quite a bit. Not to mention higher overall cards are going to be introduced every single day, which is definitely not going to help the uh, situation much more either. So my personal recommendation to you guys is that you start selling off some of the stuff you guys have before a crash does come when the market does inevitably crash. It has to. It, it just it's like it's like a known fact. It's like it's like water water. Like we know what water is yeah well, we know that this christmas promo is going to kill the market it has to if there's a blitz specifically all the new cards all the new presents now what market will be going up will be the snowflake market or whatever like there'll be times when that's up there'll be times when that's down if they need training for the blitz it can come up a little bit but for the most part on, on initial release these cards probably will be coming down so they're going to release like let's say a new defensive tackle that's better than john henderson he's going to come down in price a little bit and some more running back plan ports going to come down a little bit it's going to just keep progressing and they'll probably release more backs in his range like maybe another 92 93 back that's slightly better than him for a similar price he's gonna come down in price it's kind of just like it's like the circle of life in madden the secret word for today is gingerbread cookie so all you got to do is go down below to the comment section comment down below gingerbread cookie comment down below your console subscribe to the youtube channel and make sure to like the video once you do all those things you are good to win guys good luck remember the winner was announced in the flashback video at 10 30 so make sure you go check out that video for the winner if you think you might have been one of the winners and make sure to hit me up on twitter to always claim your reward that is the easiest way for us to communicate because the comments are getting flooded with all the giveaway entry stuff so that's about it let's get back to the video now the series redux cards gotta gotta be honest with you guys i really do think you don't want to hold on to these much much longer i can't imagine these come down that these come up anymore like the prices are at a pretty high to begin with considering what what they went through like a guy like Dion, I have just because I want him powered up. A guy like Randy Moss or John, maybe because you want to power them up. But like some other guys like Vic right here. Vic might be getting a new card around Christmas. So it's not exactly like ridiculous to say hold on to him. But guys like Peppers, I'd probably sell. Clowny, I'd probably sell Gronk. Kittle, has been he's been stagnant around a similar price that he's been at. I personally think that Redux is going to come down even more. And with Series 4 being introduced, there'll be even more Redux on the market. More flooding of Reduxes. Not to mention, guys, the Blitz cards will be coming in as Redux cards. So I recommend, if you have any Blitz cards that are holding value because they're kind of rare, I recommend you sell them. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think Dalvin Co. for 195-200K, if you sell them, you'll get back more money than you're going to get back afterwards. Because typically, a Redux card goes for less than the full card. And these cards are all being introduced as Reduxes, I believe. Like, Lane Johnson will be introduced as a Redux card as soon as it starts. All these LTDs will be reintroduced as Redux cards. Lamar Jackson will be reintroduced as Redux card. So I'm thinking maybe I'll sell Lamar Jackson for like, if he can get up to 700K, maybe I'll sell him. And then I'll make some coins on that because I did buy him for like 595, 6. And then when he gets introduced as Redux, maybe it'll be at like 450. And I can rebuy him back for a more affordable price. Because quite honestly, if they're all of Reduxes, they have to be cheaper. They're not going to be the exact same price. That just doesn't make sense. And the NFL 100 guys, there's not too much to go over with them. They come and go throughout the week pretty much on fridays when they do drop they're super cheap you know they come down a little bit and then the next day they come back up a little bit and then as the days you know they start faltering in price a little bit as people start realizing what these cards really are how good they are pretty much every week there's going to be about seven drops people are going to decide the two best those cards are going to skyrocket the other one's going to come down so as long as you're ahead of the curve and you know which ones are going to be really good you know which ones won't be too great you're pretty much going to be solid nfl 100 though really really cool promo we will be getting our free one within like i believe four or five like two to three more weeks so make sure you're playing your solo challenges that will be you know they were supposed to be limited i thought but they're not so you guys have time to play those but i recommend you start getting them to now in case maybe they say something like after week four they cut those off you have to play the next uh, next five and six i don't really know i'd get them done just so you're not behind guys but that is about it for the video i think i covered what i want to cover except blitzes reduxes series reduxes in general nfl 100s the legends what you guys are, what you guys kind of want to be doing before the crash does come just some general tips. I hope this helps you guys. Now, if you are new to the channel, remember it is the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter is go down below. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below the secret word you heard throughout this video. Like the video and comment your console. Once you do those things, you are entered to win. Good luck, everyone. If you guys didn't already see the winner, it is in the flashback video, so go make sure you check that out. 
Hopefully he hits me up on Twitter within the day or so, so I can get him his coins. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.